Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. Now before we get into today's video, make sure you subscribe with the post notification bell turned on and that you are following us on Twitter and in Instagram for all the latest news as it happens. So today we are continuing our club by club preview of each Barclays WSL team and today it is the turn of Reading. Now Kelly Chambers' side finished in 8th place last season, a comfortable mid-table finish for the Royals and it looks like a very good season could potentially be on the cards for them again this year. Now in terms of incomings at Reading this season, they've had quite a few. Uh, they've brought in Brooke Hendricks, Becky Jane, Jacqueline Burns, Lauren Wade, Charlie Wellings and Diane Cordwell so they are some good additions that they have managed to do in terms of contract extensions they have managed to give Tia Prima her first ever contract Deanna Coop has got a new deal as well as Lily Woodham and they also announced that Emma Mitchell has returned to the club after her spell out uh, following being on maternity leave and then the subsequent birth of her daughter so it is very good that Emma Mitchell is now back into this squad for Kelly Chainsley's side and she brings that bit of authority and calmness to the rest of uh, the Reading team with her experience in the WSL and I think that's going to be a really good uh, recovery um, signing as such uh, for Kelly Chambers' side so I think that is going to be some very interesting things there um, in terms of goalkeeper battle I think it's going to be quite interesting because obviously Grace Maloney is known as like Reading's main keeper and number one but now the addition of Jacqueline Burns uh, the Northern Ireland international is going to provide some good tasty competition for Maloney in goal uh, for Reading this season so I think it's good in what they've done there is they've managed to get some competition for places and not just give it easy and coasting for the players that are in this team and I think that is something that Kelly Chambers may have personally looked out for trying to do this summer is trying to get that depth in the team so that A, it provides competition so every match day no one knows if they're fully guaranteed a match day spot and then later on in games uh, as we go down the season you've got to look at in terms of uh, rotation minutes and having that squad depth it's always something that's very important to have as you go forward so I think they the additions of the likes of uh, Becky Jane Diane Cordwell and obviously Jacqueline Burns as well that does provide the good competition for places if we then have a look at the forward line, the signing of Charlie Wellings from Celtic is a fantastic one. Who had a uh, Wellings had a fantastic year over in Scotland, scoring 11 games, in, uh, 11 goals in 10 games. Provides the good. Uh, competition for Emily Eichland and Natasha Dowie so it's going to be some fantastic uh, goal opportunities for Reading this season and obviously Kelly Chambers side will be hoping that Charlie Wellings can continue her good goal scoring form from Scotland last season and bringing it back down to England so I think that is going to be something interesting in terms of where I think um, Reading are going to finish this season I think again it's too hard to have them looking anywhere below really ninth potentially 10th uh, but again I'm expecting them to be right in that mid mix of a mid table finish it's a toss up between them Brighton and Reading and I think I can throw Everton into the mix this season uh, I'm expecting them to bounce back so them four or so teams it's just going to be too hard to perfectly predict their positions but in terms of like uh, they're just going to need this one result here, one result there to potentially get them up that further placing because last season Reading only finished a point behind Brighton in 7th and uh, two points behind West Ham United so that's not too bad but then it's the goal difference so they finished with two worse goals than Brighton and seven uh, more goals conceded than West Ham United so Kelly Chambers' side will be looking to get more solidly and resolute at the back whilst also trying to provide themselves with more goals because 21 goals across 22 games is something that you're going to need to improve on if they want to keep on moving up the table and moving into a more sustainable and safe mid-table team so that is going to be something very interesting to see whether Reading can do that this season 
but it's going to be a good season for them. I don't expect them to be struggling with relegation, but again, another mid-table finish, and I don't think Kelly Chambers' side will be too disheartened with that. Right, that is it for this preview. We'll be back tomorrow with our final two previews being Tottenham Hotspur and West Ham United. But like I said at the start, make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on a video of ours and that you are following us on Twitter and on Instagram for all the latest news and stories as it happens. And until next time, we'll see you soon.